Hi, I wanted to put together this quick video on tax shields. I got a lot of questions about what is a tax shield and what is after tax expense. So here I set up a little spreadsheet. I'm just going to write on it here where I have our parameters or inputs, tax rate. I then have sales, OPEX, sales minus operational expense expenditures like uh, SG&A uh, and cost of goods sold. That'll give me EBITDA. Subtract out my depreciation. I get my EBIT. I put in a $10 interest expense. That gives me my earnings before tax. I then take out my tax, which is 30% of the earnings before tax. That gives me my earnings after tax of 30 minus 9. And let's just pretend the firm pays a $5 dividend. And I went ahead and calculated free cash flows of the firm. I took EBIT times 1 minus the tax rate add a back depreciation, and then I just put in a, as a parameter, let's, uh, let's assume CapEx is $15 and change in non-working, yeah, change in non-working, non-cash working capital is $8. So I subtracted the CapEx and subtracted the change in non-cash working capital. Now let's just see what happens if any of these variables change and then see the after-tax effect and the pre-tax effect. So for example, let's start at the top one, sales. What if sales go up by $10? Now I have the spreadsheet set up, that's going to take the $10 and add it to this new value. Now on the right here in column F is my new income statement and free cash flows. And what you see is the sales go up by one by $10 to 110. But what you see down here is the earnings after tax only go up by 10. That's because when you have more all else equal and you have more sales of 10, that's going to create more earnings before tax of 10. And then I take extra 30% uh, of the earnings for tax, it's going to create more uh, tax of $3. So in this case, my pre-tax increase in sales is $10, but my after-tax cost is just the uh, interest, uh, the uh, additional sales uh, minus what we call, in this case, a tax, uh, the extra additional taxes. So I'd say my after-tax revenue for a $10 increase would be that pre-tax change in revenue times one minus the tax rate. So $10 times one minus 30% would be 70%. So that'd be $10 times 0.7, which is a $7 change. And that's what we do see there, a $7 change. Now let's talk about expenses. Let's have no change in sales, but the only thing that happened is a $10 increase in OPEX. All right, and OPEX by definition are those which are expensed in the current period. So I'm going to go from OPEX of 40 to 50. That's a $10 increase in OPEX. But what you're going to notice here is it's only going to be a $7 change in earnings. That's because it creates a tax shield. What does that mean? That $10 of additional cost of goods sold is going to, I'm sorry, is going to decrease EBIT and decrease earnings before tax by $10 which is going to decrease taxes by $3. So I've, even though you spent 10 more dollars in OPEX, it only cost you $7 after tax. So one way of thinking about that is every expense creates a tax shield. Every expense that's tax deductible, which operational expenses are, depreciation and interest are, every one of those expenses creates a tax shield. And one way to think about it is the after tax cost is equal to the pre-tax cost minus the tax shield. So in this case, we can say that it was $10 is the pre-tax increase in cost. However, the tax shield is that $10, here's the formula here, that $10 times the actual expense. So one way of thinking about that is every expense that you're able to deduct in uh, off your taxes creates a tax shield. So we can say your after-tax expense is simply the expense times one minus the tax, or you can just also think of it as it's the expense plus the tax shield. So I could either compute that $7 by saying it's, uh, it's, it's an additional $10 of expense minus a $3 tax shield, and that means seven. Or I can say, well, you know, it cost me $10, but after tax, one minus the tax rate, it cost me seven. So either way, it, wor it works out either way. You can either say the expense plus the uh, offset by the tax shield or the after tax expense. 
Now this works not just for OPEX. Let's watch this. If I increase depreciation by $10, same result, any expense that's tax deductible, in other words, you it's in the earnings before tax that's used to calculate tax, is going to give you the same result. So an extra $10 depreciation only cost you seven. Next, let's do interest expense. Say your interest expense goes up by $10. Notice I only have an increase of after tax, uh, of earnings after tax of $7. So again, it's the same math whether you increase depreciation expense, OPEX expense, or interest expense. The after-tax expense is actually that expense times one minus the tax rate. Other way you can think about it is right here. It's the pre-tax value, you know, so it's again, it's the pre-tax value plus the tax yield. So for our expense example, we had an increase of expense of an extra $10. I'll make that negative, but I get to add a $3 tax shield. So in that case, the actual increase in cost is $7. So I'll just write that there as a negative $7. Or I can also say that my increase in $10 of expense, I'll write that as a negative, actually only cost me $7. So I hope this uh, helped out to kind of understand what it means to have after-tax expense and why we sometimes talk about it as a tax shield that a $10 extra expense with a 30% tax rate only cost us seven because there's a $3 tax shield. It's literally in the action, it's gonna be right in this line right here. That extra $10 of expense in any category is gonna create a tax shield. On the other hand, that $10 of revenue is gonna just generate extra tax expense. So that works in the opposite direction. The taxes make it worse. I didn't get to keep all $10, I only get to keep seven. The IRS gets the rest. And the last thing I wanna say about it is if this happens to the dividend, say there's a, a $1 increase in dividend, well, let's, let's do a, a $5 increase in dividend. All right, notice dividends are after the computation of tax, so there are no tax shields associated with dividends. The pre-tax and after-tax increase in a dividend uh, are the same. So hopefully this under, you helps you understand what a, a tax shield is related to interest, OPEX, depreciation, and sales.